Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about production of methane. So methane is also called as biogas, which is mainly produced by the fermentation process by using animal dung. And the most commonly used dung is nothing but the cow dung as well as the buffalo dung also. And the process of the production of methane is called as biomethanation. And the production of methane is done under anaerobic condition where the oxygen is not utilized. Okay. And the bacteria which is mainly responsible for the production of the methane are methanogens. Where these methanogens are also called as methane oxidizing bacteria or else it is also called as methanobacterium. And these methanogens can be seen not only in this cow dung, it can also be seen in mud, sewage and rumen of sheep as well as the cattle right and now let us see some of the uses of this methane gas and now this methane is used for power vehicles it is also used to generate electricity and it is also used to provide heat and normally the production of the methane occurs in a biogas plant as if you see in the picture so this is called as a biogas plant and now let us see how the production of the methane occurs in this biogas plant and what are the major parts which are present in this biogas plant and what is the procedure which is involved in it right so now this is a normal rough diagram of this biogas plant and this biogas plant includes five it includes five parts and the first part is the mixing tank and the second is inlet chamber and the third is digester tank and coming to the fourth it is called as outlet chamber and coming to the fifth it is called as overflow tank right so now before entering into this topic firstly you have to take the mixture such that we can keep that mixture in a mixing tank to complete the procedure so what is the mixture which are going to take here as I have said you the production of the methane occurs from the animal dung and mostly preferred is the animal dung only. So for example you are going to take the cow dung or as a buffalo dung and that cow dung as well as the buffalo dung will get mixed with water. And once it gets mixed with water then it forms a slurry and that slurry will be placed in this mixing tank. Right. So what you are going to take you are going to take cow dung and it will get mixed with the water and that mixture or is that slurry will be placed in this mixing tank and make sure during the uh, during the addition of this mixing tank you have to close this inlet valve such that it helps in the passing of this what we say in passing of this dung into this chamber okay so to prevent that you are going to close this inlet valve such that you are going to add this uh, what we say this total slurry into this mixing tank and then what you are going to do is that you are going to slowly open the inlet valve such that the cow dung or else the mixture which is present in this mixture tank will start moving towards this inlet chamber. So now this is called as your inlet chamber and make sure the inlet chamber valve this is the orange color one which I have drawn are nothing but the valves okay and now here the inlet chamber valve will also be opened and once that inlet chamber valve is opened then the mixture which is present or as the slurry which is present in this mixture tank will move towards this inlet chamber and then it will enter into the digester tank where this inlet chamber valve will act as a mediator for inlet chamber as well as the digester tank okay so now the mixture which is present in the inlet chamber tank will enter into the digester tank right and now once the digester tank will be filled uh, one of the most important thing which you have to remember is that once you are going to add this mixture into the digester tank one of the major important thing which you have to do is that you are going to close this fourth valve sorry this third valve which indicates uh, which acts like a mediator for digester tank as well as the outer chamber tank so you are going to call this valve as a digester tank valve okay so now this digester tank valve will be closed such that it helps it helps to pre it prevents the entry of slurry from digester tank to the outlet tank okay so to prevent that you are going to close this valve right and now you are going to open this valve because the slurry which is present in this inlet tank should enter into the digester tank right so you are going to open this valve and you are going to close this valve and once you close this valve then what happens immediately this uh, will get filled but one of the most and most important thing you have to remember is that this tank should be partially filled with this slurry 
okay so why it should get partially filled partially filled is nothing but it should get halfly filled okay so that's only the, that's only the reason i have mentioned in the case of this diagram like this only half filled okay it should get partially filled with the slurry why it should get partially filled with the slurry because the methanogens should participates its function in the remaining part of this tank right so now you are going to leave this tank for 2 months and once if you leave this tank for 2 months then what happens then in the process of this 2 months what happens is that then the methanogens or is a methanogens uh, methanobacterium which is present in this slurry will get it will get decomposed in the water which is present in the slurry and the cow dung is a major plays a major role in the production of this methane right so the methanogen bacteria will be present in the cow dung itself and that methanogen bacteria which is present in the cow dung will completely dissolve or as will completely get decomposed in the water such that uh, the gas will be released so in this way the gas will be released and that gas will be filled completely within the 2 months and once that gas will get filled then the pressure gradually increases right and once that pressure gradually increases which pressure that's nothing but the biogas or as the methane gas which is produced by this methanobacterium or as this methanogens once that pressure will get gradually increases then immediately uh, what what happens this is a well, this is what we say this outlet chamber right so immediately you are going to open this outlet chamber such that the slurry which is present inside this digester tank will enter into the outlet chamber right so now what you are going to do is that here once the outlet chamber will get filled immediately it enters into the overflow tank and from that overflow tank what you are going to do you are going to collect this total slurry you are going to collect this total slurry right so the uh, slurry will enter into the outlet chamber and from the outlet chamber it will enter into the overflow tank and from that overflow tank you are going to collect the total slurry which has been obtained and what you are going to do with that slurry this slurry the slurry will acts as a manure for the plants right it acts as a manure for the plants so the collected slurry will be added as a manure for the plants so it will be provided as a manure for total fields such that the plants will grow properly and healthy right so this is the uh, one of the thing which you are going to do aside and now what you are going to do with this biogas that biogas will be collected and that collected uh, biogas will be uh, entered into the cylinders which we wanted to store with the help of pipes and that biogas will be supplied through the markets so this is how the production of the methane occurs so this biogas is nothing but the methane so in this way the methane gas will be obtained from the methanogen bacteria due to the decomposition into the water such that the methane gas will be totally collected out and once that it gets once that methane gas will be collected it will be sent to the markets in the form of a cylinders and now that gas will be used for the cooking and it will also be used for the power vehicles and it generates electricity and it also provides the heat i have said you right as it provides heat it it is used for the cooking process so this is how the methane will get produced by using this biogas plant and if you like my explanation you can like share and subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box and notes for this topic will be provided in the whatsapp group and the invite link of that whatsapp group will be given in the description box by using that link you can join us in the whatsapp group thank you